Well, Kentucky Live, KET's popular weekly program that spotlights the history, people, and places of Kentucky just kicked off its 28th season here this month with a brand new host, a familiar uh, face to many of us here at Great Day Live, Chip Polston. Chip joins us now with a little bit more about what we can expect on season 28. And first of all, Chip, I'm so happy for you. I'm, I'm so excited Claudia, for this opportunity thank you so for much. you. I'm, as, as we were talking earlier, I spent 35 years poking around the edges of the TV business. I'd never been all in. Yeah. And at this stage of my life and at this stage of my career to finally get the chance to be all in and to be able to go tell these stories all day long, it, it's remarkable. And not just any stories. I mean, this is a really um, phenomenal program. You're telling the good news about right. Kentucky. And I mean, it's just, it's a great show for people that, that are not familiar with it. We have some clips right. of you out like shooting the season. Yeah, yeah. So that that's a show that we did at my, obviously my old Kentucky home there in Bardstown. We're out on the road so much doing different things and we tell stories in a little bit of a different vein as you indicated a great story that we have on our premiere this week is something I had never heard of before even as a lifelong Kentuckian and it was about this group called the Pack Horse Librarians back in the 30s in Eastern Kentucky this group of folks dedicated themselves to taking books by horseback to kids in hollers oh there in Eastern Kentucky to let them see that there was a world outside of where they were. We also told the story you saw just a moment ago, a great guy, Lemon Juice McGee, who runs <laughs> yeah. a, a comic book store in Somerset, Kentucky, and Moonlights as a professional wrestler uh, manager. Yeah, fascinating That's character. Great. So, so many great stories, so many great characters that we get to let people know about all around Kentucky. Oh, it is so great. You know, so. You already worked on the season that's airing right now, right? right. So it's season 28 that mm -hmm. starts this Saturday night, 8 p.m. on KET. The, the show is, is really our seminal Saturday evening magazine show, yeah. and it's, it's such an important program to the network. It's really in production all year round. So we have an 18 season arc that we do, but we're in production all year round uh, to get things knocked Chew out. out there, Chip. And that's, yeah, that's, that's a beautiful picture. That, Look no, at that. it's, 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 I'm, that. I'm telling, and, and that was great. That's at the Talbot Tavern in uh, Bardstown, and that's gonna also be on our season one premiere. Did anything creepy happen while you were there? Well, yes, <gasps> because the guy that you saw me talking to there had kind of laid out for us, you know, that some creepy things would happen, and one of our guys, as we were tearing down our equipment, went into a room to pull a light stand out, and a rocking chair was rocking no. by, I'm telling you, was rocking by itself when he went in to pull that out. They had kind of told us a little bit about this and we're thinking, okay, this is kind of hype. No, but it's true. He came out with eyes the size of basketballs holding that light stand to right. tell us that sort of thing. So that that's a really fascinating place there. It really is. I just feel like these are the kind of stories that when you get together with friends and you travel someplace and you come back and say, hey, you won't believe this. We saw this or we, we visited this place. Right. These are the stories that we get to watch on TV. Those stories that you tell friends and family that that make you almost want to get up and go travel to that place. It's and funny visit. You, when I when it first came out that I, I was named the host of the show. A friend of mine that I didn't even know was the host of the show came to me and handed me a cell phone and he had opened up a notes page on it. He was showing it to me and he said, I watch the show every week. And he said, this is the list of places that mm -hmm. I keep that I've seen on Kentucky Life that I want to go visit. Oh, wow. I've grown up here in Kentucky and there's still places that I hear about that I never knew about. And I, I would watch the show and think that's someplace I want to go see and then it would get away from me. So I started keeping a list on my phone <laughs> of where I wanted to go see. And those are the type of great stories we get to tell. And you are taking over for another WHAS alum. Well, the, there's the, so much WHAS history <laughs> in the show. There is, there and is. all over KET so for that matter. The show was actually started by Byron Crawford. Yeah. And for those of you who grew up like I did here in Louisville in the 70s, you remember him from WHAS's yeah. on the road segments that he did. Uh, so Byron, when he retired and left WHAS and also had a stint at the Courier Journal as a columnist for mm -hmm. a while, he went to KET and started this show 28 years ago. And to, there's only been three hosts of the show over 28 years, and to be able to step into that position, it's, big deal. it's just it's a big deal, and it just absolutely means the world. Yeah. To me. So, are you already like, how do you keep your eyes and ears open for those great stories to start lining up? You know, it's interesting because the show has a really good fan base yeah. and a really engaged fan base. So, I thought when I went in, we would probably be, you know, like, Hunting what, what are we, what are we going to tell next week, sort of thing. We've got things listed out. Now it's a, an evolving list, but we've got so many great things that, that we've found out that we want to tell the stories of. 
uh, that we we're, we're, we are target. It's, Kentucky's a target rich environment okay. is what I tell people. We got a lot of different things there that we can talk about and a lot of places we can take people and let them know about from Paducah to Pikeville and all points in between. Love it. Well, you are living the life, my friend. I am. You Thank are. you so much. We're happy for you and um, want to mention, of course, where you can watch it airs weekly on uh, Saturdays at 8 p.m. Yes and on Mondays on 7 p.m. on KET2. And you can also find us on our website at KET.org that you see right there. Look up the Kentucky Life page and you can watch episodes there. Chip Polston, new host of Kentucky Life. Thank you, Chip. Thank you, Claudia.